that has been your prayer. That has been your prayer. Material, when you come to him, material. Material. Forgetting he died for you, to give you life, but you want material. Envy, jealousy, anger, everything, because you don't have. No. He gave you his life, but you are coming to him material. Material. This thing will give you, but you don't know him. You don't know him. It's like now you see somebody up in the street uh, uh, looking older and all. You go there and say, Father, give me a house. Can he give you? Let him know you. Let him know you. Let, he knows you, yes, as part of his creation. But be born again. And you, when you are born again, you are given a message for the world. This world is like this because of you and me. We don't go out there. People are drinking alcohol. No one tells them the dangers of it. But when you, in our families, some of us can see what alcohol is doing, what drugs are doing, what where a home where there is no love is doing, children broken from young. You know it. You've got a solution to this world problem, but you're quiet. You are very fearful, very timid. You want to be called wonderful names. No. Time has come. It might be your last grace day. And you are kissing a booba just like that. No. Enter. Today enter. You see what the kingdom of God is like. You won't like to come out of the kingdom of God. Because there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Have the assurance within you that after this there's life. When you know that, you don't care what man says, what man does to you. Because you know, whatever they want to do to you, you are going to your father. If you can be assured like that, your life will change. But there's no assurance. Be assured to them. Amen. First of all. First of all.